Well, take a look at this graph. This is the latest data from the Wisconsin Department of Children and Families showing the confirmed number of child deaths from neglect or abuse over the past 10 years. The most recent in 2020, where there were 27 such deaths. In a week where new child deaths have made tragic headlines around Wisconsin, lawmakers are concerned. Naomi Coles talked with two of them who sit on committees for child and family welfare in the legislature. Naomi, what did they have to say? They weighed in on two recent trial cases making headlines in Madison, and in uniquely bipartisan fashion, they believe more needs to be done. We're not going to be able to save every single child, but that shouldn't stop us from trying. Democratic Senator LaTanya Johnson and Republican Representative Pat Snyder have sat on committees for children and families for much of their legislative careers. On February, In a hearing last week, the state's agency that oversees county-level child protective services in Wisconsin presented their annual reports for 2020 to lawmakers. It comes during a time when there have been a number of tragic headlines in the state. I do think that we need to get a little bit more of an answer from Department of Children and Families on, on if we need to help them and their ability to scrutinize a little deeper because uh, any child that, is, that dies from violence uh, is unnecessary. I do feel like there needs to be more statewide protocols that are more consistent. In a case where missing Madison parents are still on the run, accused in their child's death, Snyder took issue with their low signature bond. It's just a signature bond. I, I just, I understand that we don't want jails overcrowded, but in the same sense, um, do they have other children? In a toddler's death in Madison this week, officers had recommended just days earlier that some children stay with their grandparents, but CPS didn't formally order all from the home. It seems like to me if there was a cause for concern of feeling that kids were in danger, it should have went for all of the kids. You'll hear more from them and others as we continue digging into the issue of how child abuse is handled at a social services level.